Hi, and welcome back to Astrology Dome. Today, I want to talk about a Saturn return. What is a Saturn return? And when is this happening? Um, Saturn return is actually when the planet Saturn, it returns to its original place in your birth chart. That means it did a whole full circle and it returned to the same place it was when you were born. This cycle takes about 28 to 29 years. And um, usually we experience it twice or three times in our lifetime. So the first time everybody usually experiences Saturn return is when you're about uh, 28, 29 years. That's the time it takes the cycle. And the second time would be when you will be about 58, 59 years. And we all are experiencing this. Saturn has such a, a kind of a bad reputation. And through the years, reading um, the old astrology books, you get those bad names for Saturn, the Lord of Karma, uh, the Time Ticker, uh, many bad uh, metaphors for Saturn. And I think personally, it's not fair. It's true, Saturn is the teacher. It's true, Saturn gives you some harsh tests around uh, during your lifetime, but Saturn itself is not a bad planet. It is just that planet that is responsible for structure. And structure brings limitation. That's why Saturn has such a bad name. But let's go back. So a Saturn return. Uh, Saturn is in the sign. So Saturn spends approximately two and a half years in each sign. And those of you who were born around, um, where are the dates? September 1991 and January 1994, you all are experiencing your first Saturn return right now. Uh, also, those of you who were born between January 1962 in December 1964, are having your second Saturn return right now. So Saturn is in Aquarius, and all of you that are having your first Saturn return also have Saturn in Aquarius. So it is returning to its home base, its home sign in your birth chart. And you probably are feeling it. One more question that I usually get is, how do you know when you're going to expect your Saturn return? So you got to know where is your natal Saturn and what degree, because as I said, it takes two and a half years for Saturn to be in a, in a sign. So when it enters Aquarius, the first degrees, uh, those people will have their Saturn return first versus those people that have Saturn natally in their chart in the last degrees of Aquarius. So figure out where is your natal Saturn. You can get a free chart on my website, Astrology Dome or anywhere else on, on the web and find out what degree do you have Saturn in your chart. And if it is in Aquarius, then we'll talk about Saturn in Aquarius uh, later in this video. And if it's not in Aquarius, this is still applicable for you. This video is still applicable for you because we're gonna talk about uh, what is a Saturn return in general, no matter what sign it is, it would bring the same experience the expression of the sign might be different, but overall Saturn return is the same experience. So what is a Saturn return? Saturn return is about maturity. And it's about, it's kind of a test. Not really, but it is. It's about Saturn going back to its original position in your chart and asking you the question, have you learned that? And you're asking, what is that? What should I have learned? And Saturn is saying, well, I've started in your chart here and I went through here and here and here and here and here and I did a whole circle around your chart and I've stayed in each department of life for two and a half years for you and I made sure that you get the lessons of that department of life and now when I'm back to my original, of my original place in your chart, I want to see what you've learned. Are you mature? And you're saying, well, I'm 28, 29. Am I mature? I'm not sure about that. You know, I've just been through my 20s and figuring out who I am and what I am and what do I want to do. And Saturn 
is asking you, okay, so what do you want to do? And this is really the main question that Saturn is asking you. It is asking you to step up and mature. And obviously you will keep evolving, even though you're 28, 29, 30, whatever the case may be, you will keep evolving beyond that point. But this is the first time that you have to step up and take responsibility for yourself. That's it. Saturn is coming and asking you to stop blaming others, stop blaming the house you came from, the trauma you're carrying, your stories, your friends, your whatever situation is. Saturn is saying, okay, that's very nice, but step up and own it. You're on your own and you have to create your life. So what have you learned? What do you have to show for? And how are you going to continue from here? A lot of people don't like those questions because those are the kind of questions that are having us face the truth, having us face some limitations in ourselves. And sometimes we don't like to face those uh, limitations and truth because we're not too happy with what we see. And it puts us under tremendous pressure. Everybody that has a Saturn return feels some sort of pressure. And the pressure is to step up and own yourself. That is the pressure. It may come from outside sources, but truly it is between you and yourself to face yourself and ask yourself those hard questions. What Saturn is asking is a reality checkup. It is asking you, to shed and let go of what's not working for you. You know how sometimes we get into experimenting life and we choose all kinds of ways and paths and we experiment and then comes sudden and says, uh-uh, what is really substantial? Let's see results. Sutton is always interested in results. It is interested in creating a structure that will produce results. Saturn is all about being useful. It's about being tangible. It's about bringing, um, real, bringing ideas into reality and creating them and showing for them. It's about success after all. It's not about just talking about it. It's about doing it. Saturn is all about doing. So what it is that you're good at what it is that you are really not good at and you should let it go and how do you want to continue? And by letting go, maybe you're being asked to let go of a place, of uh, a person, of uh, a line of work you were thinking that is suitable for you. And all those things that you've been asked to let go of may feel like a loss because you are losing a part of yourself. But that part was sucking more energy than it was giving benefits to you. Do you know what I'm saying? It's um, the things that we let go over a Saturn return are usually things that are necessary in order for our next step of growth. Um, sometimes it looks like a very harsh decision at the time, but it turns out that when time goes by and you look backwards, you you realize that you make the right decision during a Saturn return. And that kind of narrowing down made you more focused and made you more lean, but more decisive, more responsible, more mature, more wise, I want to say. Because Saturn is all about our wisdom. We become wise as time goes by. And Saturn is the responsible for it. I call Saturn the wise teacher. And I personally like Saturn. Well, that's not fair. I have a Capricorn rising. So it is the ruler of my chart. And I had a lot of Saturnian experiences in my life. Some of them were very harsh. I wouldn't say that they weren't. But they taught me. They taught me wisdom. They taught me maturity. And they taught me to trust myself and to be, to rely on myself. And that's a big asset in life. And that's what Saturn is asking you. It is saying, no more playing 
that's not true. You, you can keep playing, but it is asking you to own and be responsible to rely on yourself. Stop taking money from your parents. Stop using other people. Stop using excuses. Stand up. You want to play the game? You want to be mature? Step up to the plate and show me how you mature. This is Saturn. Show me what you're going to do. Show me what you're doing now. Show me how you're taking responsibility. So whenever we have uh, any hard aspect with Saturn, but especially in Saturn return, it seems like everything is really slowing down and no one really likes that slow down pace and it's grinding you. It is not a nice aspect. It's grinding you. It's coming back to touch your Saturn. It's going retrograde. It's coming back again. Uh, we have, it, 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 it's like a year and a half transit. It is not a day transit. It's a process like anything else in life. And it is, this process is to make sure that you are creating the right structure, that you are creating something substantial, something that a structure, a new structure that will hold on until the next Saturn return. So you need to have this structure for at least another 30 years, which is substantial. So these decisions that it's asking you to take are important decisions. This is an important time in your life, one of those, one of those important times. So think about your decisions, but you'll be pushed to make them, whether you like it or not. So be wise of your choices. So Saturn teaches us moderation, conservation. Saturn wants to conserve whatever it has and make more of it. It wants a very strong frame of reference, something tangible to show for. It is teaching us patience. It is teaching us maturity. It is teaching us wisdom and it is teaching us reality. Be in touch with reality. Step up and own yourself. I want to talk a little bit about Saturn in Aquarius. All of you that have Saturn return right now are having Saturn. You had Saturn in Aquarius in your birth chart and obviously the return would be in Aquarius as well. And everybody that was uh, also born 62, 63, 64 also having their second Saturn return in Aquarius. And there is a major uh, event in the sky going on for this year, and it is Saturn in Aquarius squaring uh, Uranus, Aquarius' natural ruler, in Taurus. And this whole aspect is bringing a lot of uh, changes into many structures, into many structures that we have in society at the moment. I want to talk about Saturn in Aquarius in general. So Aquarius is that humanitarian sign. It is dealing with our hopes, with our dreams. It is dealing with us as humanity, as a group. Uh, it is dealing with us as society. It is dealing with how we communicate with each other, how we collaborate with each other. It is dealing with, with groups. It's dealing with technology and advancements and uh, inventions. It is dealing with um, any new concepts that we are bringing forth as a group. And Saturn in Aquarius is building the new group, the new format of us as a group, which is really, really interesting. The last time Saturn was in Aquarius, you guys that are having your Saturn return uh, have experienced that when you were born. But uh, people who lived through it experienced the birth of the internet. It was a significant time because what we have experienced is Saturn structure, bringing a new structure, a new is, uh, is Aquarius, into society to communicate as a group. The internet gave us a wonderful opportunity for a different kind of communication that was never possible before. And look where we are here. Here I am talking to you through social media channels that were 30 years ago, something from the science fiction, from the movies. This was not possible before. And this has brought on its own uh, the ability to exchange information faster on a much grander scale 
uh, in a very indiscriminating way because we all get this equal opportunity to be out there. Another thing is we can all search for our groups now. Where do we belong? What kind of groups do you want to belong to? And uh, what kind of people do you associate yourself with? And now you have the ability to find these people all around because everybody has a group and everybody can find their own people, their own tribe, which was never possible like that before. So Saturn in Aquarius brings a lot of inventions, a lot of new technology and new inventions and new ability to connect. I'm really curious to see what will be the new advancement and inventions coming out after Saturn will finish being in Aquarius this time. And I can't even imagine. I bet that there will be many more uh, social media groups that we will find other ways, extra other ways to communicate with each other and that we'll get to see many more inventions in um, medicine for the betterment of all because Saturn, Saturn in Aquarius is concerned with us as equals. So I want to finish with the promise of Saturn in Aquarius propelling us to create more infrastructure that will propel us forward as a group, that will create more or new structures that will help us connect with each other, that will help us um, care for one another as a group, care for our planet, because this is our home. This is our mutual home that uh, we're all sharing as a group. And um, I want to believe that humanity will find new ways of existing and dispersing wealth and resources to everybody in an equal way so we can all benefit from being here on this spaceship called Earth and enjoying the human experience. This is a tremendous experience. So don't be afraid of your Saturn return. Uh, it's true, you're being called up to show up and do the work. If you do the work, you do get a reward. Saturn does give you a reward and the reward is your life. It's the good life you are manifesting for yourself. Uh, you can set out intentions all day long, but you need to show up and do the work and take responsibility. And the results would be amazing. The results that Saturn delivers are forever there. They are strong, they are rooted, they're substantial. Be happy, enjoy yourself, and become the best version of yourself today and every day. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, Astrology Dome, and I will see you next time.